guys, what's up? I am fully nerded out today in these nerd glasses, but I ran out of my contact prescription and Sorry, as I was saying before, I got interrupted by the cop, and now I'm getting interrupted by my cat. Sorry, Ghost thought it would be cool to play with cardboard right when I start to film. What I was saying before the cop interrupted me and then the cats, my contacts, the prescription expired, and I have to go to the eye doctor to get another one. They won't give me any extra contacts until I see the eye doctor, so I can't even get, you know, like any spares or anything like that. They just said I'm out of luck until I see the eye doctor. So until I see the eye doctor, I'm stuck with my glasses. I I literally cannot even film without my glasses because my vision is so bad that I won't be able to tell if I'm even in focus or not and then you know I'll probably with my luck film a whole video out of focus or stuck with these really obnoxious glasses for now I'm sorry yes today we are talking about pit bulls because I saw a video that went viral the other day some weird dude wanted to get his pit bull anti pit bull video ban all pit bulls he wanted to put it on the Super Bowl and and he was like, this is gonna be the Pitbull Super Bowl commercial and ban all Pitbulls, woo. And it kind of went viral and it made me upset. So if his goal was to just upset people, he has succeeded. I didn't realize how much people still don't like pit bulls. I didn't know that was still such a huge stigma. I thought maybe, you know, that had died down over the years, but no, people still really, really hate pit bulls. I decided to make a video about how I feel about pit bulls because I thought maybe, you know, maybe it could open some people's minds because I know when I was like three years old and I first had heard pit bulls were supposed to be scary, I was a little intimidated by them. I don't know why I would be worrying about pit bulls at the age of three. I don't know why that was a major life concern at three years old. It's probably an exaggeration. Anyway, this guy made this big anti pit bull, pit bulls are evil, they're gonna kill you video. And I know that at some point in my life, maybe it wasn't exactly three years old, but when I was a little kid, there was a point in time where I was a little, like I didn't know how to really feel about pit bulls. I didn't know if they really were these scary animals. You know, I think, I know I have a lot of older people, but I also have a lot of younger people who watch my videos. So maybe y'all need a good pep talk about why pit bulls are actually really good dogs Why you should give them a chance and why we shouldn't ban them and kill them and why we need to stop treating them like crap I will say that there's only one pit bull on this planet that we should ban and I think we all know who I'm talking about Mr. Him He's, he can go. There can be an anti pit bull video that way. That's cool. But pit bull the dogs they need to stay Mr. Worldwide can go that scared me. That was a weird noise in my house. Okay, so I'm looking up the Pitbull video and I will put it in the, like down there to watch it. I will put it in the down there. I'm a great YouTuber. So this weird guy here, Kenneth M. Phillips, dog bite law. So we all know what he already does for a living. He scares people into thinking dogs are mean so he can make money. Attorney for dog bite victims throughout the USA, author of the dog bite law and dog bite lawsuit forms, as well as other books. This is a thing. Do they, are they suing the dogs or suing the owners of the dogs? Because I'd really like to see a dog go to court. If that's a thing, I, I'm cool with Kenneth, Kenneth's job because it sounds kind of entertaining to watch dogs go to court and plead their case. But if they're just suing the owners, then it's boring and I don't like you, Kenneth. Okay, anyway, here's his video about pit bulls being evil dogs. 29 to zero. They killed the most kids. They killed the most family members. Look at all these people. One breed killed 75% of the people who were mauled to death in 2017. Interesting. Pitbulls killed 29 Americans in 2017. That's nothing to cheer about. And then they show a pit bull that's supposed to be evil. Do not adopt them. So um, first off, he says 29 people were mauled to death by pit bulls in 2017. Um, let's look something else up. Highest cow related deaths registered in 2017. More than 20 attacks in six months. Looks like 20, there were 20 cow attacks in six months. So we should ban cows. It looks like in 2016, there were 17,000 murders. That's a lot more than the 29 pit bulls that, you know, deaths. We should ban humans. My point is, here's here's the thing. Every single dog on this planet, I mean, it would be a lot harder to die by Chihuahua, of course, than by Pitbull. Yeah, that's that's very clear. Pitbulls do have the advantage over some other breeds. But the thing is, any single dog that you raise to be aggressive, that you raise without love, that you neglect, that you abuse, 
gonna grow up doing all it can to survive rather than having the compassion towards a human that most pet dogs have. So sadly, pit bulls are very commonly used as fighting dogs. Pit bulls are very commonly the ones that are used to be, you know, aggressive and fight other dogs and everything like that. Pit bulls are a very common breed because of their strength. Not necessarily because they are a mean dog, it's because they are a strong dog. So a lot of people take these dogs and they abuse them. They are the most abused breed of dog. They are the most neglected breed of dog. They are treated awfully by humans. And that's that's a human thing. That's a human problem. That's us raising them wrong, not them being born to kill. Any any pit bull that has been raised that way, yeah, it'll be it'll be aggressive. And you see these numbers, you see that they kill, you know, more people than other dog breeds. It's because of how people train them, not because more of these dogs are inherently aggressive, it's because more of these dogs are being trained to fight than any other kind of dog. If people were commonly doing this with German Shepherds, where they just train them always to be mean, mean, mean fight dogs and always the ones that you'll see in the ring fighting, then you would see more human fatalities because there's more numbers of German Shepherds out there that are aggressive. You might see more aggressive pit bulls in your lifetime than you'll see aggressive papillons. Papillons are actually a little crazy. All small dogs are a little crazy in my opinion, but anyway. You'll see more aggressive pit bulls, but that's because more owners are training their dogs that are pit bulls to be aggressive, not because they were naturally aggressive. So you see these dogs and you think, oh my God, it's the breed, but it's not the breed. It's the person behind the dog. I don't think there are bad dog breeds, there's only bad owners. Of course, a dog can be born, one dog, you know, out of so many can be born that's just a little meaner. But guess what? That happens with humans too. There's more, you know, there's meaner humans sometimes than others, but it has nothing to do with our race. It has nothing to do with, you know, anything except who we are and who we're raised by and what goes on in our brains. You know, we all got different brains. Some of us are just more aggressive than others inherently and it has nothing to do with anything. But it definitely doesn't have to do with humans existing in general and it doesn't mean that humans need to be put down and neither do pit bulls. Very raw respected organizations have done so many studies on pit bulls and they have found that they are the most tolerant dogs out of um, pretty much every breed. They are very loving dogs. A long, long time ago, of course, I do not know the exact date. I never did too well in history class, but a long time ago, when pit bulls were first starting out before they were mainly a fighting dog, a lot of people began using, and now when I say pit bull, I really do mean all of the breeds recognized as a pit bull. There is the American Pit Bull Terrier, but then there's also a Staffshire Terrier and a few other breeds that really get recognized as the pit bull. Now, any of these breeds are most likely treated the same way, so I am talking about all of these, not just the pit bull. I'm talking about pretty much the whole bully, all of the bully dogs, all of the ones that are in the bully group. All of them are normally, you know, recognized as the pit bull and pushed aside. So I'm not talking about just American pit bulls. I am talking about Staffshires and everyone else in the bully breed. There was some picture that got put out that was proven to end up being fake, not real, but some lady a long time ago posted a picture of her pit bull taking care of her child. And she said that they're so good with children, they can be a nanny basically and watch the kids and things like that. Now, of course, no dog should watch after a kid. No dog should be left responsible like that ever, no matter what breed. So that picture ended up being proven false and being discredited. You know, they are not actually nanny dogs. But the name really stuck and people always referred to them as nanny dogs because they are so good with humans. They are so good with children. They're so careful and so caring with them that the name really stuck. And then they got turned into this fighting awful thing and people really forgot about that. But it still sticks to this day that they are such a caring, compassionate, gentle breed even though they are so big and have so much strength and it really does depend on who's raising them and what their you know family tree is and everything like that so i went to the pound with my friend and we got some of the pit bulls out and we played with them and it was super fun but i just wanted to show you some little videos of me interacting with them personally showing you that it's not just some random videos online that pretty much every pit bull i've ever met in my life has been nothing but the sweetest dog ever so here are those clips it's just a few nothing much
Okay, we're gonna see if I can get through this last portion without my glasses. I don't know how well it's gonna work because I can't even see if I'm in focus, but hopefully I am. Back to my point, I just wanted to make a video that reminded people not to listen to the crap that you see online about pit bulls being bad dogs. I think they are amazing with children. I think they are so caring, so loving. I think they feel so much. They have to endure so much trauma and even the ones that are traumatized, a majority of those still come out able to love again. There are just some that, you know, they just feel like they need to fight for their lives, basically. They feel threatened always. And some of those just never fully recover, sadly. So that's where the stories come from, from the ones being really aggressive. They either came from family trees of other pits that were super aggressive, or they were severely damaged from their upbringing into this world because so many of them are abused. No, we should not stop adopting pit bulls. I think we keep adopting pit bulls. I think we keep giving them chances and even the ones that were former fighting dogs, we give them a chance in the right environment. I just think they need to be looked at differently. They don't need to be looked at as a villain. They need to be looked at as the victim of something. They are the victim of humans raising and breeding these animals to fight and to be vicious. And they are the victim of neglect and abuse. They are not these villains. They're not, you know, these evil dogs that want to eat your families and your babies. I remember when I was younger, we actually adopted a Sharpay from the Humane Society and we brought it to a vet to get it neutered and the vet told my mom who was pregnant at the time they told her they said this Sharpe has a little bit of pit bull mixed in him and you let it grow up with you when you give birth to that baby it could kill your baby so then my mom didn't want to you know have the dog anymore because she was scared even vets sometimes feed into the stigma that these dogs are not you know capable of love and they're not compassionate and they are just these human eaters I definitely urge people to go and adopt one, but always make sure you know its background. You know, if you have a bunch of young kids and this dog is not friendly with kids, you know, you need to know that beforehand, that specific dog. There are some that are gonna have more special needs than others. So you just have to go into it, you know, not just like, I'll take that one, but you know, actually know the background of it. But highly suggest helping these dogs, helping this breed, and not banning them from places. I know in the United Kingdom, I don't know if it's all of the UK or just specific parts, but I know the pit bulls are banned and you, you can't own them, they'll be killed. Like, they'll be taken from you and put to sleep and all because of a breed. So I just, I think it's sad because I think they're amazing dogs, so. I just wanted to make this little rant about pit bulls. Passionately ranting about pit bulls at 3 a.m. in my living room, but I really felt like this video needed to be done. I just felt like these dogs are so misunderstood. So I hope you guys enjoyed my pit bull rant. So I hope you guys can, uh, you know, agree with me that these dogs don't need to be banned. And if you have any really cute, you know, pit bull videos or anything like that, you should totally share them on your Twitter or Instagram with hashtag adopt a pit bull and spread the message that these guys are amazing because right now there's a hashtag going around do not adopt a pit bull or do not adopt so we want to say yes adopt a pit bull so totally check that guy totally check that guys out hmm no i'm not tired at all totally check that guys out totally check that out guys thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much thank you for your patience with my videos i know my you know everything's hectic but i love you guys and yeah bye